Your Excellencies, dear participants, it's an honor for me to address this round table, which discusses the important topic of promoting inclusive environments for the full implementation of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Inclusive and competent Finland, a socially, economically and ecologically sustainable society. I'm happy to present you the title of the program of the current government, the government of Prime Minister Sanna Marin. One of its, its strategic themes is fair, equal and inclusive Finland. In order for a nation to be prosperous, it has to invest in the well-being and inclusion of all people. No one shall be left behind. Everyone is important, everyone matters. Finland is committed to the promotion and protection of the rights of persons with disabilities, also in the context of its candidacy to the UN Human Rights Council for the term 2022-2024. In Finland, we aim at promoting and maintaining the health, well-being, functional capacity, workability and social protection of the whole population and to reduce inequalities in health and well-being. While we have achieved these objectives for many, we still have a work to do to make sure people get all the services they need and the services meet their needs. The Finnish model for addressing inequality and disability rights can be summarized in four key elements. Firstly, human rights are the core for all activities. Secondly, it is important to support equal, accessible and non-discriminatory national institutions, strategies and policies and to ensure capacity of duty bearers at all levels to deliver services and protection for all. This is an investment that delivers sustainable results. Third point is gender equality, which cuts across all interventions and is a key priority for Finland. The fourth and very significant point is civil society participation, in this case meaningful participation of the organizations of persons with disabilities in particular. It is a principle without which no sustainable results in terms of human rights for persons with disabilities can be achieved. Cornerstones in achieving inclusion and non-discrimination and equality. There is no equality without accessibility. Accessibility is one of the general principles of the UN Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the CRPD. Accessibility is a human right and a precondition for the realization of other human rights and fundamental freedoms. Accessibility and non-discrimination are also closely tied together because the implementation of the prohibition of discrimination presupposes, in principle, the accessibility of the environment. One of the main barriers to the creation of inclusive environment is the lack of accessibility of physical environments. In Finland, we have implemented the minimum standards and guidelines for the accessibility of facilities. However, our non-discrimination ombudsman has pointed out that the accessibility of the existing built environment is still a significant problem. Therefore, we are nationally targeting to achieving 1 million accessible dwellings by 2030. Currently, we are around mid-target. More accessible housing is needed, not only through new construction, but also through renovation. In all development plans, the CRPD must be taken into account. Also, Agenda 2030 considers inclusive environments as crucial means for progressing towards the Sustainable Development Goals. To ensure that no one is left behind in development, persons with disabilities and their representative organizations need to be involved when planning the environments we all live in. The application of universal design must be taken into consideration in the design and construction of public spaces, public transport, housing and other aspects of urban and rural planning. Accessibility as a policy must be closely linked to other policy areas and its effects need to be better identified and assessed in decision-making. It's also important to recognize 
that decisions in other policy areas have an effect on accessibility as well. Therefore, you always need to have a holistic approach and keep the principles of equality and non-discrimination clearly in our minds. Dear participants, as the last point in my introductory remarks, I would like to raise the issue of modern technologies and their accessibility to all persons. We live in the era of a last-paced technological development. New technologies have increased our well-being in many ways, and most likely they continue to affect positively in our lives. Computer-assisted or artificial intelligence-enabled decision-making can also significantly reduce the costs and the time needed and thereby enable faster service for individuals. However, there is also another side of the coin. Artificial intelligence uh, tends to amplify bias and replicate entrenched discrimination patterns and lead into a discriminatory result. Modern technologies and the equipment for their use can also pose additional barriers for people with disabilities. Therefore, it's equally important to bear in mind not only the accessibility of the physical environment, but also the accessibility of the technological environment. Artificial intelligence technologies have potential to drive our common development agenda and forward the rights and agency of persons with disabilities. Inclusiveness of innovation processes and diversity in the artificial intelligence workforce and in design processes are the keys to ensure that the realities of persons with disabilities are reflected in the development of modern technologies. I thank for your attention and wish you fruitful discussions and a successful roundtable. Thank you.